Hello, my name is Eric McBride, Acting Chief of Police for the San Bernardino Police Department. This video briefing has been prepared to provide the public with information on an officer-involved shooting. As part of this briefing, we will share audio recordings, body-worn camera footage, and other forensic evidence. Our goal as an agency is to continuously build and maintain the trust of those we serve through open communication regarding issues of community concern. This is never more important than when deadly force is used by an officer. Officers respond to fast-moving and often dangerous situations every day. In the overwhelming majority of these incidents, they respond professionally and effectively. Upon completion of our internal investigation and review process, we've concluded that one of our officers' decision-making did not meet the standards held by our department or the community we serve. As a result, he no longer works for the San Bernardino Police Department. However, our administrative review process does not make a determination about whether the officer's actions were lawful. The determination regarding the lawfulness of the shooting will be made by the District Attorney's Office, which is currently reviewing the incident. Hello, my name is Sergeant John Echeverria, and I'm going to provide an overview of the fatal officer-involved shooting that occurred on the evening of September 28, 2018. A word of caution, the body-worn camera footage may be difficult to watch. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. On September 28, 2018, at 1014 p.m., we received a call from a woman regarding a man identified as Richard John Sanchez, who was intoxicated and threatening family members at 3179 North Cactus Circle. The dispatcher quickly discovered that Sanchez had a felony no bail warrant for his arrest and notified officers via radio. Uh, Charlie 23, Baker 23 of the RP now advising the subject is back and she sees the subject holding a gun in his hand now. Now is going to be 1035 for 100000 A few months earlier, Sanchez had made terrorist threats during a domestic dispute. During that incident, he was armed with a handgun. Two San Marino police officers, Brandon Getty and John Baltas, were dispatched to the home at 10.18 p.m. Several minutes later, at 10.23 p.m., the woman called back to report that Sanchez was armed and threatening family members in the kitchen of the home. The woman said she had escaped with children, fearing for their safety. Where are you at? Are you outside now? Yeah, outside the house. Okay. The officer's pulling up now. Are you going to talk to the officer? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stay on the phone with you until they get there because of what you're saying that your brother-in-law has. Family members and witnesses described Sanchez as intoxicated and making irrational statements such as he had everybody under his control because he was God. Dispatch informed the officers of Sanchez's history and told him he was armed and likely under the influence. When the officers arrived, they could hear people arguing and could see the front door was open. They saw and heard Sanchez, who had his back to the front door and a gun in his right hand. A woman was standing just a few feet away. The officers yelled command to drop the gun and pointed their weapons at him. Sanchez turned around and didn't immediately obey the officer's command. For a brief moment, the officers lost sight of the gun while Sanchez spun around and transitioned the handgun from his right hand to his left hand. The officers ordered him to drop the gun three more times before he finally sat on the arm of a couch. Suddenly, and without being told to do so, Sanchez advanced toward the officers taking eight steps. The officers ordered him to put his hands up three more times. Sanchez finally put his hands up but kept coming forward. Officers told him to stop three times. Sanchez continued to advance. Officer Gaddy opened fire, shooting five times. Hey, stop right there. Hey, drop the gun! Move, move! Drop it! Drop it now! Drop the gun! Drop the gun now! Charlie 23, he's got a gun in his hand, one at gunpoint. Drop it! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Put your hands up! Stop! Put them up! Stop! Stop moving! Stop! Both officers had their body-worn cameras on before, during, and after the shooting. Officers radioed for medics and also directed family members away from the loaded weapon. Investigators recovered a loaded Smith & Wesson 40 caliber handgun at the scene. This case is currently under review by the District Attorney's Office. They will ultimately determine if the shooting was lawful. Our own internal review of the incident has concluded and disciplinary action has been initiated. Officer Gaddy no longer works for the San Bernardino Police Department and Officer Baltus has returned to full duty. The use of deadly force is traumatic for all involved. 
Each encounter is unique and requires officers to make split-second decisions without the benefit of 2020 hindsight. However, despite the challenges faced by officers, we want to reassure the community that we will not compromise our standards and will continually strive to provide the best possible service to all the residents of the City of San Bernardino. If you'd like more information regarding our policies and procedures, please visit our website. Thank you for watching this Critical Incident Community Briefing.